Hey guys, it's me, Julie, back with another video. It's clearance jewelry today. Another day of clearance. Guess what I did? I unbagged everything. Have it all set up over here next to me and there and blah, blah, blah. And anything I wasn't sure of, I tested. And it's going to be awesome. We'll be able to move super fast. Get through all this clearance that I'm hoping to get through. Uh, first, we're going to do sterling silver. And then um, I have a little bucket of costume that I took out of bags also. Except some earrings that I was scared I wasn't going to match up. <laughs> and yeah, it'll be awesome. Let's do this. Okay, so to tomorrow's going to be... Um, clearance decor and more don't forget if you'd like to buy anything you can pause the video here and it'll tell you exactly what you need to do all right let's do it so these are first um so these guys they're very very beautiful cloisonne earrings and then i believe this is some kind of stone i can't get them apart okay you get the idea um this all is not sterling the wires are sterling Okay, so only the wires on these. Let's go five bucks. Okay, next, coming out with the big guns. <laughs> All right, so look up close at this. It's like, a, is that called inlay? Would it be inlay? No, it's not really inlay. But it looks like it's not perfection. I don't know if it's made like that, but there it is. It's this awesome chunky ring. It's a size 13 and a half, definitely could be a men's ring. It's marked P-A-B. Um, yeah, everything's sterling, guys, in case I forget to say it. Let's do 25. Okay, next we have this sterling ring. Isn't that cute? Kind of a little domed ring, very pretty. And this one is a size seven. Let's do 18. I have a little pile of rings right here, so it's going to be ring heavy for a minute. I have this one. Isn't this fun? It's like twisted. I think it's really cool. Isn't that neat? So neat. Maybe I'll get the finger. Give you the finger, guys. <laughs> there we go. Isn't that cool? All right, let's measure that one. Coming in at an eight. Let's do 15 on that one. Oh boy, Julie. Julie knocked her magnet down. I'm not really worried about it, except I don't want Brenda to make off of it. <laughs> so give me one second, because then it will go to the dog pen. <laughs> and then Hubs will say, I found this while I was doing poop patrol. <laughs> okay. My sister and I used to have to do poop patrol when we were younger for our family dogs. And we would put on, <laughs> we would put on these little, you know, the things that you put on your nose if you're swimming laps to block your nose. We would put, <laughs> put those on and have our little sand bucket. We weren't young, super young or anything. Have our little sand bucket and shovel and go do poop patrol. We must have looked ridiculous. All right. This is so cute. Cute little ring. It is a size eight. Let's do 15 on that one. Marcasites. Are there actually marcasites? Yeah, there are. <laughs> uh, I have this one. Gorgeous. I didn't turn on my gem tester. Oopsie. Let's put that to the side. Picky is probably glass. How about this one? This one is incredible. Isn't this cool? Such a cool design, right? Um, I believe when we tested these, they were the traditional characters, cast of characters. We had some peridot, some citrine, amethyst, garnet, and who knows, maybe um, blue topaz. We'll test one in one second so we get an idea. Okay, six and three quarter on this one, you guys. This one's gonna be 25. Can you stop blinking? Come on, gem tester, please. Please, please, please. All right. No, that's a stone too. Do I have any that aren't stones? Okay, here. Oh, it's ready. <laughs> All right, change my mind. Uh, on the yellow stone, the yellow stone is citrine. Okay, let's just check the blue. Mm, 
Jadeite Spinel line. Okay, so I told you the size. Let's look again. Six and three quarter, uh, $25. Really cool ring. Really, really cool. Okay, we'll go to this one. This is a smaller size, but it is really cool, you guys. I have a ring like this that I wear as a midi, and so does Mama, actually. And it's actually really, really comfortable as a midi. Um, and then I'll usually put like a smaller ring over here. I have two that kind of match. You guys have probably seen them. It's been a while though. Um, anyway, I think it's really cool. Uh, it's coming in at a four and a half. Okay. So let's go 10 bucks on that. 10 bucks. I have this one, the poor old baby that's missing stones. I haven't tempted anybody with this one yet. <laughs> anybody want to take this on? You know you want it. <laughs> um, let's see if the green is peridot. It is. Okay, so you have some peridot. Uh, what's the blue? Garnet tourmaline iolite line. And then moonstone. Okay, this is a size. Uh, it's kind of wonky. See, it's a little bent. Um, I'd say it's a size six. How about $5? Someone grab it. Fix her up. Um, if you measure the stones in millimeters, sometimes it's hard, but you usually can find stones on Etsy and things. Okay, we have this one. Super pretty. And this one is coming in at uh, almost an eight. I would say an eight. It's an eight. And let's see if it's colored CZ like I was thinking. It is, you guys. Those are glass. Super pretty. $15. That's it. Uh, we have this one. Marcosite and something or other. We'll test it. It's very, very pretty. I like that you can have a chunky front but a thinner band. That's always a plus. What do I have on today? Oh, yeah. I wore some Roman glass. Because you know I love it. I have a Roman glass ring for you guys that I am going to show uh, next week. That's uh, Onyx, you guys. Coming in at a seven and a quarter. Let's go 15. Okay, so I'm going to have to be reaching over here a little bit today. So I will do my best to make it move. Okay, so this is... You know what? I'm going to test that. Sorry, I thought I had them all pulled. I want to test that one. Here we go. A little bypass. Is it actually a bypass? Yep, it's a bypass, you guys. So you could adjust, adjust the um, size a little bit. Cool ring. All sterling right now, don't forget. Six and a half. How about $12? That's it. Uh, we got another one. I'm picking out all the rings. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Marcosite and probably some amethyst we'll test. Really cool ring. It's chunky. Uh, let's see. What are you? Oh, she's not a diamond. I fell off. <laughs> I fell off. Glass, you guys. That's glass. So colored CZ coming in at a nine. Mm, 18. Uh, what is this? Ooh, cool. I love the checkerboard facet. Look at it. Look at it picking up rainbows. <gasps> Do you see that one, you guys, right there? That's so cool. Look at two. Can we go for three? Can we get three? Can we get three? No, we failed. <laughs> All right, let's see what this is. I'm guessing glass. Yes, it is CZ colored glass. Uh, seven and a quarter. Let's go 15 on that one. And you can make rainbows all day, you guys. I would never get anything done if I had a rainbow maker. <laughs> all right, abalone ring, sterling silver. Really cool. Really nice. I like that. Let's see what size. This one's coming in at 10 and a quarter. $15. 15. Okay, next. All right, we've got this one. 
some purple and some opal. I would say there's probably like a man-made opal in there. Probably something like a doublet or a triplet, which is when they take slices and a doublet has two slices, a triplet has three, something like that. That's what I'm guessing. Slices of opal, by the way. That's what I'm saying. Amethyst. Coming in at a five and a half. I bet this would be a cute midi. Ooh, ooh, you guys. So it's slightly loose on me and I'm like a nine and a half right here. I, I know everybody's body is different, but that might help a little. Actually, it fits better on this finger and that finger is like a nine. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's go 15 on that one. Okay, next, 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 next. I kind of just want to do rings to get rid of rings so I can just use the finger and then be done with the finger. There we go, look at that pretty with the um, engraving on it. Super pretty. It has like a tropical feel, right? Like Hawaii or something, right? Oh, I fell off. This is a very rounded stone, so good luck, Julie. <laughs> it's um, reading as onyx. Coming in at a six and a half. Let's go 15. Okay, rings, rings, here's one. Okay, gorgeous. This is beautiful and it feels really well made to me. And it's just really, 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 really pretty. Okay, gorgeous. Um, this one's coming in at a six. I would like 18. <laughs> $18. Okay, we have some children. We saw one like this for James Avery, kind of. This is not, uh, but these are little kids holding hands. Okay, needs a little cleaning. What that typically is, guys, is um, a silver polish that's more like a liquid or a paste will turn to that, okay, in the ring. So polishing cloths are really nice because you don't get a lot of that. See, there's more right here. See, it's hard to get that out of those little nooks and crannies. This one is coming in at a six and three quarter. 15. Lots of six, six family rings today. Uh, any more rings right here? Do, 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 do. I know I'm gonna miss some. I mean, it's inevitable, but maybe I can get a few at least. Get most. Okay, here we go. We've got this one. This is Lapis. And it's on this cool like chain uh, band. Really cool ring. Let's see what size you are. Uh, nine and a quarter, nine and a quarter. How about, I'll go 15 on that one. This one, I thought someone would buy this. I thought it was so cool. I almost kept this ring and then I wore it in a show to show you like a sneak peek of what was coming. So cute, isn't it? So cute. I think those were spinel. Let's check, let's see. Oh, you guys, they're so little. Uh-oh, I think one's missing. All right, I don't know. Do you see? This one, missing. That one's there, it's just pressed down. All right, so I think just that one's missing. Well, that stinks. Uh, coming in at eight and a quarter. How about 10 bucks? It's hard to see, obviously. I mean, we're gonna have to get this close. <laughs> All right, we have this baby. It's like a claw setting. Oh, Miss Print. Oh, Brittany, where did you get that? Oh, you are so naughty. I know, you came to tell me you were being naughty. I see. Um, I think this might be acrylic, you guys. Yeah, acrylic. It's pretty. Bren, you naughty, naughty. I have the only dog in town that likes to be naughty. I mean, like, it gets excited to show you how naughty they're being. <laughs> All right, seven and a quarter. How about ten bucks? She's like, look at me being naughty. 
Uh, no wonder she doesn't know what no means, Julie. Great dog training. <laughs> um, okay, I think I've got them all. Yeah, right. I'm never going to have them all. I know I'm not. Uh, okay, and then I have this, which is a little sulpata pile. A sulpata pile? Okay, good shape. Here we go. We have this one. I believe that is some kind of stone with like a matte finish. It's really cool. Really cool ring. Uh, this one's coming in at a nine and a quarter. How about 15 on that one? Okay, and we have some Labradorite. Beautiful, I love Labradorite. This is not a crack in the stone. No, nope, the stone's fine. It's perfectly smooth. Just a part of the right, just a part of the stone itself. Okay, Labradorite, gorgeous. What size are you, Mr. Lab? Coming in at a seven. How about 15? Alrighty, we've got this one. Pretty little swirl action. They're like hugging the stone. They're like, hello, let me hold you, you little baby. Is it a baby onyx? Let's see. Hmm. That might be a really dark garnet, you guys. It read on the garnet line. Uh oh, size, Julie. Coming in at a seven and a half. Fifteen. And we have this one. Mother of Pearl. Beautifulness. Gorgeous. Let's see what I have written here. Sensa Eustace. Not sure though. S E. Maybe. Uh, 925, size six and three quarter. We're going to size that again because that's a really old tag. That is like my first time. My first video tag. It is a six and three quarter. 15. Really old tag. We have. Ooh, we have this one with Mary on it. And this is Vermeil. Missing a stone right there. Let's see what size. Seven and a quarter. Let's go 10 bucks. All right, you go there. You go there. Okay. This beauteous one, isn't that pretty? Um, is that rose gold? Yeah, rose gold for May on this one, you guys. It's marked YGI India 925, um, which is yellow gold ink, okay? Size seven. Uh, let's see what these are. Those are CZs, you guys, colored CZ. Uh, coming in at a seven. Let's go 15. Holy rings, huh? You guys like rings like I do, though. I'm trying to get this mystery lot of rings that could have costume and um, starling in it. I thought it'd be so fun to look through with you guys. We'll see. We'll see if I get it. There we go. This one, it's not a bypass. I don't know if those are real or not. Coming in at a seven and three quarter. Fifteen. Yeah, and it's, it's joined. It's not adjustable. Okay, this one, I have the same ring. We could be twins. We have some um, dyed mother of pearl inlay. I got this to wear for Pride Month. I think it's perfect for that. Um, let's see. Six and a quarter. Fifteen. Okay. Let's see this one. Probably amethyst. We'll check it. And some marcasite, and then some. Oh, it goes all the way around. Cool. Cool. I like when they do that. It is amethyst, you guys. And coming in at a uh, 10. Nice. Got a bigger size. 15. Okay, I have a Silpata ring. Here it is. Look at that. Look at that fastening. It's amazing. Okay, so this is Silpata 925 made in Indonesia. It's an eight and a half. It looks like I've charged 18. <laughs> That's funny. This is a wicked old price. I probably would be more like 25 right now, maybe a tiny bit more. <laughs> but that's okay. We're okay. I'll go by that. 
that's where you guys saw it priced. That is, um, that is CZ. Uh, so let's go, oh, let's make sure it's an eight and a half. It's an eight, you guys. I feel more comfortable at eight. Size eight, 15. All right, I think that is all of the rings. Let's continue with the two Silpata pieces. I have this little pendant. Okay, there's the marking. All right, let's do that for $10. And then I have this necklace. Let's put the finger back. Okay, sterling obviously, and it has these little stations, diamond shape and circle. It's a long one. There's your Sulpata tag, see it right there. Gorgeous. Let's do this one for 15. Okay, next, okay, we have some gorgeous earrings. Aren't they pretty? Gorgeous, post earrings, um, 10 bucks. I have some abalone earrings. Oh, I just found a ring, see, I told you. <laughs> uh, abalone earrings, um, they're both abalone, but abalone is a natural material and they don't look the same color, so if that would bother you, just know this one's bluer, this one's like tanner. Uh, post earrings, $10. Eek. I want to look at these. Here we go. Aren't those pretty? These are really nicely made, you guys. 925. Um, oh, they're Taxco. Mark Taxco in Mexico. Let's see if that's Onyx. No, guys. Um, it's coming up as glass. So let's do 12 on those. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I dropped it. If I don't get it now, guys, there's a chance it will disappear. <laughs> With my naughty doggy. Okay. I have this bracelet. It's very pretty. Uh, twisted, um, twisted rope kind of and it's marked JRI I could never figure out JRI I tried I'm in a six and three quarter with an opening that is one inch okay let's go 15 that's a hunk of sterling there okay I've got this which is a pendant that could probably be engraved and also a brooch sterling mode uh sterling la mode la mode how about 10 bucks? I have these um, threader earrings. So you would put this through your earring hole and then this would stay in the earring hole and those would dangle. Aren't they pretty? I think they're awesome. Uh, how about $8? Next. We have this, is it broken? Oh, we have this broken necklace. How much of a fix is it? Oh, nothing, it's just put that back on there. Okay, not bad. And probably hematite? No, I think they're faux pearl, you guys. It is a Y necklace. Look at, this has a loop and that doesn't. I don't know, this has got a whole lot, a lot of going on. Total length of... 17 inches, coming with a little boo-boo, eight bucks. Eight bucks. We have a Marcosite heart brooch. Marked on there something, 10 bucks. We have a pretty little pendant with some Labradorite, gorgeous. It does have a marking on it. This is all tangled, but I would bet that this is like an 18 inch necklace. Oh, it came untangled, yay. Let's see how my guessing was. Eight and a half inch drop. I think I was a good guesser. Uh, let's go 18 on that one. Probably was at 25. 
Okay, this is um, a piece by, that is Beverly. I have my cheat sheet. It's native, you guys. Beverly, we bought B. I'm not, I'm probably butchering that. I'm sorry, Beverly. Zuni, okay? $100 is where it should have been priced. Okay, and it's on this uh, nice, I think that's a wheat chain. Looks like wheat, I think. Um, yeah, let me tell you a link. Drop of seven and a half inches. I will drop this to 65. 65 bargain grab it you guys we have these earrings uh not sure what that is they don't feel very cold so maybe just some acrylic they are posts they are marked plata which is silver um let's go 10 bucks and what's this we have this piece I don't know what that is. It looks to have like a little line on it. All right, well, here it is. It's very pretty. Um, it is signed. I could never figure that out either. Uh, it's on a little chain. Um, eight inch drop. How about 16? Oh, wow, you guys, there's a lot left. <laughs> Oh man, I can't stay super late. I can stay for an hour, but I'm late recording. So hopefully my internet doesn't give me a hard time again. I'm sorry it's been so hard, you guys. My internet's been like blinking on and off, on and off. And we can't figure out what's wrong. Okay, some Unikite. Beautiful RLH. Okay, let's go 18. If you need dimensions or anything, let me know. I'm going to stop measuring as much so that we can get through this. I don't know if we're getting through this, but we're going to try. Uh, we have some cat hook earrings. So cute. $10. I have a vermeil necklace. No, it's not. It's not vermeil. Sorry. It's sterling with a light blue stone. That's Topaz, you guys. Beautiful Topaz necklace. Let's go 18. I have this beautiful Marcosite heart. It's a longer chain. Let's see if that's Onyx. It is, guys. That's Onyx. Let's check quick. Okay, let's go 18. Let's go to this cross. We have a Marcosite cross. There we go. Okay, it's on a box chain. Very, very pretty. It's, I think it's a little bit bent, a little bit wonky. Okay, let's go 15. I'm in necklace mode. Let's grab the necklaces. How about necklace mode? Okay, so we have a ball bead chain necklace. This, oh shoot, where's the paper? Oh, it's not the one I think it is. <laughs> this very, very pretty pendant is not the one I was thinking. There's a little box pendant, like a prayer box. Oops. It was going to it was going to Peridot, but we'll just make sure. Yep, Peridot, you guys. Gorgeous. Everybody wanted the Peridot the other day, so maybe you guys will like this one too. Um, 18. Okay. I have this one, which I think is so cool. It's sterling and brass. It's a flower, but I, every time I look at this, I think it's a bug. See the wings and the head? <laughs> I always think that. It's on a snake chain. This is very, very pretty, you guys. Uh, let's go 15 on that one. We have this one. I think this was Ross Simons. Let's look. Nope. No, it's not. This is one of those shaky guys. Isn't that cool? It's a wobbler. It's a wobble head. A bobble head. Just kidding. Um, that's reading on the Garnet Tourmaline Iolite line. Actually, no. I think that's an emerald. I think that's a lab created emerald. Let's go again. I've had one of these in an opal. Somebody bought it. 
Okay, hold on. I'm having a hard time. It's too bobbly wobbly. Huh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna price it so it could be either. How's that? Uh, 18. 18. It's reading, I should have shown you. It's reading at um, the beginning of the emerald line and a, that is also a teeny ways in on the garnet line. Okay, I have this gorgeous bracelet with little stations. Isn't this so pretty? I think it's so pretty. This is, it can go from a six and three quarter to a seven and a quarter, eight dollars. Uh, we have this. This is real pearls and garnet, I believe, and a little Y necklace on a really cool chain. Not cool. Drop on this one, seven and a quarter, you guys. Uh, 15. 15. Uh, bracelet. Not amber. Faux amber, you guys. But it is sterling. And it has a real pearl dangling. Coming in, uh, it's kind of six and a half. Six and a half. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Uh, earrings. Gorgeous. Those are fun. Those are fun little kidney wires. How about eight dollars? Uh, this one, I can't remember the name of the seed. If you, um, fat bottom girls, they make my rockin' world. <laughs> That's what this, this always looks like a lady with a behind. Look at it, doesn't it? Bum, shoulders, neck, it's all I see. Okay, it's on a cord. I can't remember what these seeds are. If you do a Google image search, it will come up. I believe they're from Peru. I don't remember. Uh, eight bucks. I believe it was eight bucks. I mean, it is eight bucks. <laughs> All right, we have some studs. These are rose, <laughs> rose gold vermeil. Five bucks. We have some other studs. These are also rose gold vermeil with a little blue enamel. Five bucks. Any other studs? Can we get the studs done? Because they're really hard to hold. Any other studs? No, don't do that, Julie. You're wasting time. Okay, here we go. Uh, we have a little pearl necklace. Super pretty. I love how raised up it is. And it's on a nice chain. Gorgeous. 18. We have this necklace. Oh, <laughs> the pendant's not on the chain. It's on a snake chain. And here's the pendant. Okay. Let's do 15 on that one. Come here. Stay together, please. Hold hands. Don't get lost. Hoops with some texturing. Isn't that cool? Those are nice. These are about, about an inch, guys. Inch diameter. Uh, 10 bucks. We have some... I just saw another ring. <laughs> Uh, pink mother pearl marked indigo earrings. Uh, let's go 10 bucks. Another ring, we'll put that there. We have these little mother pearl inlay, maybe onyx. Let's see. Oh, it is. So these are onyx and mother pearl inlay, and they're absolutely beautiful. I love when they do inlay like this. I have some more bumblebees coming with amber like this, and oh my gosh, they're to die for, I think. Uh, 10 bucks. I meant to bring up a piece of amber I got in to do like a sneak peek, and I forgot. Uh, I think these are acrylic, you guys. Okay, uh, eight bucks. Well, let's see what these are. We have these guys. We'll test them, probably garnet. Let's see. It is, they're garnets. Garnets, darn it garnets, with a little Celtic, 10 bucks. Uh, oh, I can't believe these didn't sell. Maybe I priced them too high. I think they're fantastic. Aren't they awesome? I just think they're so pretty. 
pretty. Uh, let's see. Amethyst, you guys. Amethyst. Ten bucks. My numbers are getting screwy. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought I saw something weird. <laughs> I thought it said 280 and I knew 260 was over here and I'm like, uh oh, we're really messed up. All right, Millefiori pendant. How about $8? We have some bear claw and probably turquoise, not totally sure. Earrings, uh, 10 bucks. We have a blue opal turtle. Um, I would say it's probably faux opal, you guys. Uh, box chain, 10 bucks. I have a couple more that like remind me of that. Let's get those if I see them. All right, we have a Hamsa, Hamsa, there we go, on a nice skinny little chain. Okay, I think that's probably faux opal. I think <laughs> 10 bucks. I think, I think, I think. And I think I have one more kind of like that. If I don't see it, I'll just move on. Move on, Julie. Okay, we have this sister's one. This is copper. This is sterling. I did not check these pieces because it would have been rough. Uh, 10 bucks. We have these earrings. The little cha-chas. Ready? Maybe, maybe. Somebody moved in near us that has serious bass. Can you guys hear that? It's crazy. Crazy. Uh, 10 bucks. 10 bucks. This is a sleepy little neighborhood, folks. <laughs> All right, little circle post earrings. They're hammered. $8. Okay. Guys, one second. The little baby post uh, studs fell off their spot. Okay, I have this cross. Super, super beautiful, in my opinion. Garnets. Let's go $10. Uh, we have this. Sterling. It's a real pearl. I don't know. Possibly turquoise. Not sure. $8. Not sure. Oh, another ring. Uh, we have some suns. Remember the space on this guy? <laughs> He has the cutest face. <laughs> $8. And we have some post earrings. Maybe onyx. We'll check. Like so. Let's check. They are marcasite and nada. So some kind of inlay material. Beautiful though. How about $8 on those? We have these guys. We'll check if these are onyx also. Gorgeous little posts. Marked Mexico. Uh, actually, they look red. I saw a little bit of red color. They're not garnets, though. They're glass. So I think if the light hits them right, they look a little red. Ten bucks. We have these guys. Nice and simple, pretty earrings. They are posts. Ten bucks. I have an elephant with Marcus sights. Cute. Ten bucks. Uh, what's this? This I was surprised didn't sell too. I must have priced it too high too. Uh, look at that. It's beautiful. Isn't it so pretty and it's articulated? I think it's just so pretty. Nice chain. Let's go 18 on that one. Um, we've got this one that looks like Mystic something. Okay, let's see what it is. Got a knot in this necklace, guys. Sorry. Okay, so it's like a Mystic CZ. Okay. Uh, 15. I got that whole knot undone from that jewelry jar, you guys. 
Uh, it was rough. It was a rough one. Marcosite and maybe Garnet. Let's see. Marcosite and Garnet. Beautiful. How about 18? Oh boy. Okay. Uh, we have this little um, adjustable bracelet. So pretty. I'm trying to show you how that actually lays. Like so. Okay. Uh, rose gold vermeil. How about five bucks? Uh, some post earrings. Marked AB. I couldn't figure that out either. There they are. I think that's probably just a, um, what is that called, guys? Is it veins? No. Whatever. You know what it is um, on the edge there. What is that called? What? A, mm, matrix. I think that's just matrix area. Ten bucks. Okay. I have this cute little beach glass necklace. Isn't that so cute? Snake chain. Uh, $12. Oh, this is pretty. Here we go. Isn't that pretty? Do you think they're citrine? I think they're glass. Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I was right. <laughs> uh, let's go 15. I have a, this is a white gold vermeil necklace with a sword. How about mm, $6 on that? Hi, Brittany. You're back. I heard you had dinner. You had some dinner? Uh, we have this. I think it's missing a stone or whatever on a ball, bead ball chain. How about eight bucks? Someone make it pretty. Uh, let's see. Okay, so here we go. We have this opal bracelet. Probably some man-made opals in there. I'm not positive on that, you guys. It's very, very pretty. I'm positive on that. Uh, six and a half, I'd say. Gorgeous. I think I'm gonna go 20 on that one. I think I was at 30. We have this one. It hangs this way. I don't know what that is. <laughs> 10 bucks. If anyone does, let me know. We have some X earrings. If I remember right, these are Taxco. Let's see. Yes, Taxco X earrings posts 10 bucks. What are you doing, trouble? Okay, we have a Vermeil necklace with a little uh, slider. Let's go $10 on that one. All right, my throat is dying today, guys. My voice is going in and out, and the allergies are out of control the allergens i guess i should say are making my allergies out of control these have some problems let's just go five bucks little studs no backings uh here we go these are white gold vermeil studs they're little stars what was i charging on these three bucks is that what i was doing i hope i was uh Let's see, we've got this one. Gorgeous. That is cold to the touch. Okay, let's go, it's on a box chain. Let's go 15. What are you? I tested this one yesterday because I was like, are you? Are you really? It is. <laughs> Stupid nails. Uh. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, here we go. Um, I don't know how this goes. Oh, got it. Okay, so this goes around your neck, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so I think this goes around your neck and this bead kind of slides up and down like a lariat. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, somebody figure it out. $8. <laughs> Okay, I have an anklet, you guys. 
This is sterling. I checked the beads. I did not check the black because I didn't want to fall um, the black to get ruined. Uh, this goes from a eight and a half to a nine and a half. Okay. Uh, so a larger bracelet or an anklet. Eight bucks. Uh, let's see. Earrings. 